Oh, right there. How's it going, guys? Token vaping. And as always, yes, it is another juice review for today. However, as usual, it's always a little sad when I get to the final flavor in a line that, you know, I had the pleasure and honor of doing uh, reviews for the, the various uh, flavors that are in that line. I apologize about that there. Got it. So, um, this is the final flavor in a new line that is uh, made by a very well-established company. Um, I've done reviews for a bunch of their other videos. You can definitely check them out on a bunch of their other flavors. Sorry about that. Um, you can definitely check them out on my YouTube channel. And it is a well-known company. Great, great flavors. Really rock solid. Um, they're definitely known for their milky dense vapor clouds. Um, so if you are a cloud chaser, it's definitely a line to check out. But the company is called Milkman. And if you know anything about anything, you will have heard of them, seen them, you tried them, sampled them, you vape them regularly, things like that. Well, this is a new line that they came out with. It's called the Lights. And these are flavors that are a little bit out of the norm as far as um, what you would expect, you know, to see on a, in a, in a vape juice. Um, but they're not super far out there, but they are a little different. And this is the final one. I have to, there is four in this line total. This is the final flavor. And this one is called Truffleberry. And I do apologize for the glare, but they are one of the few lines that still use a full body seal. Now, it is odd to still see people using the dripper bottles, but it works for them. That's what they prefer, you know, things like that. A lot of companies nowadays are switching over to the unicorn style bottles just for easy portability and uh, dripping and things like that. But they still use the coated uh, liquid bottles to make sure that, you know, it, it hampers light and stuff from getting in so that it doesn't mix with the juice more than it should and it they do use a full body wrap seal so i'm going to go ahead and jump into the vape for this first and then we will get into a little bit uh behind the scenes of the about the liquid and the company and where you can go to purchase some if you are interested so we are going to go ahead and unwrap this And as always, it is going on a fresh cotton wick right here that I always try to do for you folks. If that wants to ever pop in like that, I do apologize about the glare. That is fresh cotton. And as always, it is Texas Tough Cotton. Just works really well for me, you know, quick and easy. And I like that it has little to no break in time. So we can go ahead and pop this open. That is definitely a heavy chocolate flavor. Now, as you can guess by the name, it's basically, it's a truffle berry. Um, according to the flavor profile, it's a rich chocolate truffle with a sweet raspberry filling. Now, I'm not a huge fan of sweets or candies or chocolate. I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of raspberry. It's just really tart for me. So this is actually going to be a really interesting uh, first vape for me just to try out this flavor. Now, real quick, if you don't know what a truffle berry is, it's basically it's a chocolate uh, candy confectionery type thing um, that has a chocolate uh, ganache type center which is basically just like an icing or a glaze or something that's used for filling um, and then it's just centered within the chocolate but this is glazed over instead of used as a filling this the chocolate ganache is basically supposed to be the icing or wrapping for the raspberry filling so it's a richer chocolate it's not like a typical just an ordinary um, sweet chocolate things like that but it, you can definitely smell I don't really smell a whole lot of raspberry off of it which for me, I kind of am glad. Like I said, I'm just the the tartness or of, of a raspberry just is a lot for me, and I'm just not a fan of it. But you definitely have a heavy cocoa chocolate style um, smell off of the odor. Now, what I kind of like about it is the fact that it has more of a of a richer chocolate, um, kind of the type that you would expect to smell. You know, going to like an actual chocolate uh, shop. Not something like you buy off a candy bar in the in you know in the local store or something like that. So it does have that upscale type smell to it, which is kind of nice. So I'm just gonna do a quick pre-burn, get the juice starting to flow through the cotton. And then we can go ahead and get make sure that this is all juiced up. And we will go from there. So I'll get this capped. And as always, just to make it easy on my reviews, vaping at 75 watts. So this is Truffleberry. It's the, the final flavor that I'm reviewing for the Delights line from the Milkman e-liquids. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead real fast and I'm just gonna do a quick redrip, just a couple more drops, um, and then just do one or two more vapes on it. And honestly, this really is just to ensure that what I just tasted is the actual flavor and that I'm not missing anything due to it being fresh cotton. Because the last thing that I really wanna do is misinform anybody about the flavor itself. So just bear with me here one second. Okay, so truffleberry. I'm gonna tell you right now, it is definitely not what I was expecting to taste. Um, it literally, the, the, the raspberry for me, now everybody has a different taste palette, everybody has a different sensitivity to flavors, but for me, the raspberry is so slight. It's just enough on the tail end to let you know that it's there, but it is not enough to overtake the, the flavor or to overpower the flavor. Um, the chocolate is definitely the main flavor that you get out of this vape. However, it is not as strong as I was expecting it to be. You definitely taste it. It is by no means mellow, but it is not overpowering to where it like floods your mouth and you literally feel like you just spooned like, you know, a giant ladle of chocolate syrup into your mouth. Um, if you've ever actually had like the hard candy version or the, you know, out of like the little box of candies, um, it has more of that type of flavor to it, but it blends nicely in the smoothness of it. And that's because the Milkman e-liquids is always, um, you know, they're up, up in the, like the eight to 20 range. They do a max VG just because that's what gives it such the dense clouds, the smoothness of the vape, um, and the, under, the nice creamy smooth undertone that they're known for. Um, but that definitely helps with the smoothness of this flavor so that the, the chocolate doesn't have a sharp taste to it. It's definitely a smooth, like melt in your mouth, taste. Um, and then, like I said, that raspberry is just enough on the tail end to just let you know that it's there, but it is in no means anywhere near what I thought it was going to be. This is actually a lot more enjoyable than I had planned or imagined. Um, granted, it's not something that I could vape all day, but at the end of the day, you know, if you want something a little sweet, a little, um, different than the, the normal dessert style flavors or, or candy type flavors that you're used to. This kind of, it almost gives you that little feeling of, you know, you just pop like a, a really nice um, higher end piece of candy or chocolate in your mouth and you just kind of relax and just let the flavor just warm you and, and soothe over your body. That's the type of feeling that it gets. Now, like I said, the bottle they use, the, the, it's coated so that it does not allow like sunlight or things like that to mess with the steeping of the flavor or over mixture. It does have the carton logo that they're known for. It says delights with the truffleberry. It has all the warning and ingredient labeling on the backside. Um, they do use tobacco free nicotine. And then this is the size, their, their name and the nicotine. Now it is available in a zero three and a six, and you can go to the milkman eliquid.com to find out basically all of um, the flavors for this line specifically. If you wanna purchase it, it's easiest to go to Drip Club, which is who sent me this line for the purpose of, the re of these reviews. A great, great distribution company. They only handle, you know, the higher end top quality lines that they that they vape themselves, that they stand behind 100%. Milkman being one of them. These are, this is available in a 60, a 60 mil bottle and you can get it in a zero three or a six nicotine level. Um, and you can check out the other flavors on that site as well. And both of those links will be in the comment box um, down below. So Drip Club, Milkman, thank you guys so very much. Um, if the Milkman e-liquids is going to be at the expo next week that I'm hoping to be able to attend. I definitely want to meet them and definitely give them my, my respect and thank yous in person. But definitely check out MilkmanEliquid.com. Check out Drip Club. If, you're, if you own a shop, work at a shop, run a shop, um, Drip Club is definitely a great company to order stuff from um, in bulk uh, for, your, for your shop to uh, display in retail. So definitely check them out. As always, I'm Token Vaping. I'm here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest. Anything that I can do myself to help further enhance your vaping experience and make it more enjoyable for you, it's the only reason why I do this. So definitely reach out to me. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns, a particular video that you'd like to see. I will do everything in my power to make that happen. But no matter what, I'm always going to be gratefully humbled and honored by all the love and support that I've received since starting this YouTube channel. For all the people that have clicked that red subscribe button, for all the people that like my, my videos and leave a thank you comment or a great review comment, any type of constructive criticism, it is so greatly appreciated and helps make my day so much better. So thank you everybody for that. Until next time, always remember, truly love yourself. Vape on, vape strong. Have a good one, guys.